McFarland. My company is MGP. We're a manufacturing company and we make caliper covers. Currently we make uh, caliper covers for Mustangs and we have more vehicles coming. The caliper cover is uh, formed aluminum. It's a form fit to fit the caliper. This component here is the bridge. It's a TIG welded on to the back of the cover. And this is the clip. The clip holds it onto the caliper bracket. It's also secured by a nut. If you paint your caliper, it's a little bit messy. There's a lot of work, a lot of prep work to do. If you're spraying them, you gotta tape everything off. If you're lucky, the paint sticks and, and looks good for a little while. However, your caliper is still bumpy. It still has that same configuration and you still get brake dust everywhere. This is the best alternative. Today we're going to start the process of the caliper installation. It'd be a good idea to wear some safety goggles. We also want to use tire chocks. Chalk one of the wheels that's directly opposite of the wheel you're working on. First thing we'll do is jack up the car per manufacturer specifications, remove the wheel, and proceed with the caliper installation. things to look for before installing the caliper cover are these wire clips that come on some brakes. They protrude outside of the caliper, pushing the caliper cover towards the wheel. We need to flatten out these clips in order to have the caliper cover against the bracket so it does not protrude past this plane right here. Using a straight edge, you can tell that it's underneath the plane. There we go. Now we're ready to place the caliper cover onto the caliper. I line up the bottom to get a nice even fit. Place the bottom clip in first. Slide the clip onto the bottom of the bracket. Tighten it with your 3 8 wrench. And take the second clip and put it onto the top bracket and slide into place. Good snug fit. It's ready to go. Now that the wheel is in place, and there's two places you want to look for clearance. You want to make sure that it's clearing up here on the outer radius and inside on the inner radius. This wheel has plenty of clearance. You can see what an easy project this is. Cleans up the look of your ride, makes it look very sporty, very clean. Gives some color behind the wheel and you're ready to roll. caliper covers to see if they reduce heat or decrease heat on the calipers after the caliper cover is installed. Our caliper cover test car today is a 2006 Chrysler 300 MEC. Uh, we'll be conducting a test from one side to the other. We have the caliper covers on one side of the car and bare calipers on the other side of the car. The test pilot will be braking hard as he comes off of the freeway. He'll be doing a little bit of impound driving, braking hard again breaking hard around corners and then doing also a burnout test and we'll, we'll measure the temperature of each one of those tests. The one without the caliper cover, 38, 240. On the caliper cover side we're looking at 216, 215. So we're looking at a difference of 20 to 25 degrees. reduction of heat from uh, the caliper side, caliper cover side to the non-caliper cover side by about 50 degrees. Right on top of the caliper we're looking at 226 on the non-cover side. On the caliper cover side, right on top of the caliper, we're looking at 206. So we're looking at a drop of about 30 degrees. We're seeing a drop of temperature on the caliper cover side of anywhere from 30 degrees to 50 degrees, which is proving that the caliper cover is acting like a heat sink. It's aluminum and it's pulling the heat off of the caliper, not retaining the I'm 
Mike Barlin from MGP Caliper Covers. Today we're going to be doing a caliper cover installation on a 2004 Corvette. We'll be showing off our new GM licensed product, Corvette Engraved Caliper Covers. First thing we're going to do is uh, jack up the car, remove the wheel. The caliper cover is made out of aerospace aluminum. It's high speed engraved, powder coated, paint filled. The uh, aluminum itself is aerospace grade aluminum. The bridges are TIG welded on for strength. Simply position the caliper cover, centered, rest the bridge on the bridge of the caliper, put the clip on between the uh, caliper and the rotor, and the bottom 16 to 20 inch pounds of torque, nice and solid, not going anywhere. Now we simply reinstall the wheel, and you want to look for Clearance here, clearance here. This is a 17 inch wheel, and we got a good quarter inch of clearance on here. So that looks good. As you can see, the rear caliper on this Z06 is painted from the factory. They spruced it up a little bit with the red paint. We are going to cover it up with this Corvette GM license caliper cover. First thing we'll do is pull off the wheel, we'll show the installation. And we'll put the wheel back on and you'll see the difference in appearance. Clips come in a baggie. They're marked front and rear. Put the clip on between the uh, caliper and the rotor. 16 to 20 inch pounds of torque. We're looking for a clearance, so that looks good. 